I'm in a 2013 Ford Mustang GT and I'm going to show you the shift pattern of this particular car. So right here the reverse is all the way to the left and up. Some cars it's to the bottom right if you have a 5 speed but this is a 6 speed. So to shift the gears you have to put your foot on the clutch which is this pedal push it all the way down and then when you move the gears, first gear, you go to the left and up. So then you're in first gear. Second gear, you straight back. Third gear, you push it back up to the center and it springs, loads right to the middle. And then you put it in third. Fourth is straight down. Fifth, you push it back up to the center, over and up. And then sixth gear is straight down from there. And then neutral is right in the middle. You can tell it's a neutral. You can wiggle it back and forth. And then this car, to put it in reverse, you have to push down and then push it all the way over to the left. And then that allows it to go up to reverse. Some cars, there's a lever to pull up here. And some cars, you just have to push really hard over. I'm here in a Mini Cooper and I'm gonna attempt to pull out on a stick shift for my first time. So I'm gonna, this is the gear pattern. So first gear is over a little bit and then up. So then what I'm gonna do is release the clutch and then when the car starts to move a little bit, I'm gonna put the gas on and release the clutch more until it I get rolling good. Oh, I stalled it. So what I'm gonna do is put it in neutral and start the car back up again. I'll try it again. Okay, now to shift to second gear, I'm gonna push the clutch in, take my foot off the gas, move the lower down to two and put the gas back on. Okay. So now I'm gonna go, I'm in second gear, I'm gonna go to third gear. So I'm gonna put the clutch down and take my foot off the gas and then put it up into third gear. And there I go. Gas. I'm gonna make a U-turn, so I'm gonna put it in first gear. not that hard to do. You just gotta get a lot of practice with it. And I'm gonna be turning right on to Main Street here. Left. In a little bit. Oh yeah, left. So then when I come to a stop, what I'm gonna do is slow down to about 20 or 15. And then what I like to do is just put the clutch in, put it in neutral or first gear with the clutch still on. That was an eight Volkswagen Passat. Now, this is gonna be my second time trying to drive a stick shift. So I'm gonna try to pull out and then go down Millersport Highway. So I got the clutch in, put it in first gear, release the clutch until it starts to move, hit the gas, and once we get going this fast, release the clutch. I should have shifted in a second there, but I'm coming up to a red light, so. going 45 here, it's 
speed limit is 45, so for cruising at this speed, what you should do is put it in sixth gear. And that optimizes your fuel economy and your performance. Well, not your performance, because you want to, if you need to go fast, you want to go in a lower gear, but it's quieter and it's more fuel efficient when you're driving fast like this to have it in the last gear. Now I'm going to try to shift when it gets to around 3,000 or 4,000 RPMs. I'm going to attempt to go backwards now, so this car, to start the car, I have to put the clutch in and put this key in the ignition like this. Then release the parking brake, which on this car is a button, so you have to put your foot on the brake, push the button, and the parking brake comes off. So this is the same shift pattern as the Mini Cooper and the uh, Ford Mustang, so I have to push down go over to reverse and up. Now, same thing as going forward. Release the clutch until the car starts to move. Give it a little bit of gas. And then come off the clutch all the way. I'm in a Fiat 500 right now. And I'm on a steep hill and I'm going to try to take off without stalling or rolling backwards. So I'm going to lift the clutch up until I feel the car start to grab right there. You can kind of hear it too. Release the brake and then hit the gas and release the clutch. I'm in a Fiat 500 and I'm going to try to go left here. at a slower speed. But then this car is only a 5 speed, so at these higher speeds you want to have it in the last gear for sure. Volkswagen Jetta GLI and I'm gonna pull it on the Southwestern Boulevard here practice downshifting so put it in third release the clutch second release the clutch and that kind of saves your brakes and it uh, gives you more control when you're stopping in uh, snowy and icy weather I'm gonna show you what it's like when you don't shift if you just leave it in first gear goes up past the red line and that's not good for the engine. 
so you should shift around three or four thousand RPMs. That's ideal for performance, fuel economy, and the life of the engine. Okay, so I'm here going about 40, 45, and I'm in sixth gear. And when you want to accelerate going this fast, sixth gear is not the gear to be in. See, I floor it, that's full speed. It's not accelerating, nothing's happening. You gotta put it down to a lower gear, like third. And then it goes. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to floor it here and see how I am in my shifting. as smooth as I can get it without shaking the car. Oh, I shook it. That was a pretty good shift. That one was even better. You really can't feel these ones at higher speeds because um, the car's just moving fast and if you mess up like you would do at a lower speed, you really don't feel it because you're going and everything's winding up fast already so any little imperfection won't mess it up that much.